Yes, world. It's me. Your boy, Marcus Digital. Me. I. We. Have entered the ring. We have entered the tournament of Spider-Man Battles. I have finally joined the International Spider-Man Committee, where we will argue, spit, and throw insults at everybody in the room over different Spider-Man issues. And normally, I try not to dabble into this part of the comic book community, the picking sides part of the community. <laughs> I typically don't do that. But God damn it, you know, today's Friday. I'm about to eat some pizza tonight, baby. I'm downloading the Avengers beta. So I said, fuck it. We let loose today. We got to talk Spider-Man. Let's go. So, without further ado, over the past few weeks on Twitter, there's been a lot of threads retweeted going about where people are complaining about CGI being frequently used in the Marvel Cinematic Universe Spider-Man movies. People are complaining about, for example, the bus that the chameleon was driving was an actual, not real bus. It was CGI. They were complaining about that. They were complaining about some of the sets being CGI, not being real, it being green screen. They were complaining about the gun that Nick Fury held when he was in the room talking to Peter in Spider-Man Far From Home, they were complaining about the gun only really being a handle and the rest of it being CGI. A lot of people have been complaining about how frequently MCU Spider-Man is involved with special effects and CGI. And what these people don't get, what's so fucking annoying to me is that these people don't understand the technology advances to make shit easier for people. Why would I, as John Watts, the director of Spider-Man Far From Home, I have a shot of Nick Fury in a room talking to Peter. Why would I have the set rebuild, go get a real prop maker to craft a real gun just for this quick little minute and 20 second scene. When I can't put him in front of a green screen and have all that done in like two or three days. Why do I gotta wait multiple days to get the craftsmen to make the prop, to get the people to put the room together, to decorate it and I gotta worry about lighting and tone when I'm in a real room. Hey. Move that light to the left. It's shining on his left nipple. I ain't gotta worry about none of that dumb shit because it's CGI and it's green screen. It's made to make things way more simpler and way more easier. When the chameleon is driving that school bus, imagine how much harder that scene would have been to shoot if he was in a real school bus. But instead, I can kind of craft the school bus around the camera shot, around what's being filmed. I can kind of play with it a little bit, where if it's a real magic school bus, you got to do all of this positioning with the camera and placing it here and placing it there. You got to do all of this extra shit. CGI green screen is there to make things easier. People worship the Tobey Maguire films. So don't get me wrong, I grew up on them. But they dealt with so much physical props, right? So many real locations. They dealt with that shit for a few different reasons. Number one, the elephant in the room. They ain't had no fucking choice. Cause it was like the early 2000s. They had no choice. That's the first thing. The second thing is that during that era of filmmaking, you could actually film a big budget movie at real locations in real cities in America. And people wouldn't leak things. People wouldn't go crazy 
because not everybody had these. A cell phone. Matter of fact, I remember the cell phones from that era were some bullshit. You couldn't even take a picture. You had to literally walk around with a Kodak camera that had film in that bitch to take pictures of stuff. And even then, did you really want to waste your fucking film on they shooting a Spider-Man scene over there? No, you walking. You're like, oh man, that's cool. I'm going to tell my family about it when I get home. They had no fucking choice. Nowadays, when movies are being filmed, what's everybody doing? Oh shit, that's Tom Cruise. Hey Tom, put me in the movie. Everybody recording. Everybody doing this. So they got to go to studios and shoot this shit with green screen. And it's not just Marvel. DC does the same damn thing too. You know that scene in Justice League where Superman is fighting the Justice League by the little statue? That's all green screen. That environment is not real. It would have been impossible to shoot some shit like that in the public. You can just cut off the area around the streets. It ain't gonna stop that person two blocks down with a camera in the window. <laughs> so you protect yourself from leaks and information getting out by having it inside these studios, having it on a lot. Boy, people just complain about everything when it comes to MCU Spider-Man. The character ain't perfect, but I like him for what he is. Anyway, it's been weird, but it's been real. All that damn complaining. Stop it. Shit. They're using too much CGI. Okay, great. I guess we should really go find a Hydro Monster to fight Spider-Man. Great. Let's go get a real Mysterio. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> Get out of here, bitch. Yeah, I'm so fly, but you knew though. Yeah, you know like though. to mix it up, my different items like Menudo. Yeah, Don't yeah. force a nigga, I'm the nigga strange like I'm Hugo. Yeah, Your yeah. mama check a nigga, watch a roller, you're a Hugh Blow. Yeah. Like it really matters, yeah. I came with four seasons. They think a lot about my cars, like my new Beamer. Your girl dipping in my seats, you should probably leave her. Nerd nigga with the glasses and the short season.